Hello, uh, welcome back to another video on Artifacts. I want to look at a few different things we can try, actually. One is time reverse and one is exponential scale. So let's uh, do both of those. Uh, we'll maybe start with rotation. So we'll do rotation here. And we'll go, say, 720 degrees. So it's going to be two full rotations. And let's take a look. So you can see we're rotating clockwise. Uh, what we could do then is we right click here, keyframe assistance, and time reverse keyframes. Now we're rotating anti clockwise. So that's a simple way to do that task rather than manually doing it. All right, now let's, uh, let's do something with the scale. So the scale, so we want it to get uh, larger. So we'll go from zero and we'll go to. Um, uh yeah 300 okay that's that's fine right because it, of the linear growth there you'll notice that at this point of the animation it's really going fast and now now it's, it's crawling through the line right uh and that's because it needs exponential scale because it's it's like the percentage that it's growing is less noticeable at larger sizes if we look at the graph here you can see it's just it's just going like a flat rate and that isn't really what you want. So the way to fix that is to use exponential scale. So if we look at these keyframes, we'll select the keyframes and we're still gonna go from zero to 300. And actually I could just do it here and you can see it directly. So we've got the keyframe selected. And we're gonna press this button here, exponential scale. And you see the graph has completely changed. So now it's gonna have, a, it's gonna go much faster at the end and that means it's going to be more reasonable in terms of the growth. So let's just take a look at that. Um, we'll start. We'll start. We'll just start here as the work area. Uh, let's just start the work area a little bit later because obviously it's so little at the beginning. It's it's barely noticeable. So we'll just do the work area here. You can see that way. It seems to be smoothly increasing in size, right? And that's the way that you can you can scale objects up, and it's still and it looks like it's going at exactly the same speed, rather than that slowdown at the end. And that's really all I wanted to talk about today. So thanks for watching.